Midjourney just released a new option that lets you pan your image in any direction or up and down, and it will fill in that side of the image for you. This is a really useful option, and it also works with the remix option that I'm gonna show you, so you could actually pan and remix in the same prompt. Now, if you don't use Midjourney, I do have a beginner's tutorial to Midjourney that I will link below as well, but for those of you that are using Midjourney, I'm gonna show you the new pan option in this video. So inside of Discord here, I'm gonna type in slash imagine and my prompt is gonna go over here. So I'm gonna keep this prompt relatively simple. I'm gonna create a castle here so I could show you what happens when you pan left and right and up and down and I'll show you the remixing option after that. So my prompt here is gonna be medieval castle bright in a white shot cinematic and 8K. So if you wanna do the same thing for yours, go ahead and type in a similar prompt and I'll go ahead and generate this image and then I'll show you exactly how to pan left, right, up and down. As usual, I got the four different images and I have to choose one of them because you have to up res or upscale one before you could actually go ahead and pan. So I'm gonna just go ahead and choose number two. So that's this one here. So I need to press U2, that's the upscaling option to basically give me a higher resolution image and then I'll pan. And here is the castle. So now I have to choose which direction I wanna pan. If you look underneath, you have your usual options that you've had before, the zooming option I also have a different video about. But now I could pan left, I could pan right, up and down. So basically if I pan right, it's gonna fill in what's missing on this side of the castle. If I pan left, it's gonna show me what's over the cliff over here. And up is gonna be more sky and this is gonna be more of the sidewalk here. So I'm gonna go right and you could do this multiple times. So I could go right and then I could go right again. But whichever direction I choose, I have to keep going in that direction with this creation. So I'll go ahead and go right here. And I got four different images and you could see this is no longer in square shape. So it's panning a little bit to the right. It's created all these that were missing in the original creation here. So I didn't have anything on the right of the castle. Now I have a lot more to look at. Again, I have to upscale one of these. So I'm gonna just choose U2 again, which is this image here. And here's the upscale version of that. And now I could go left and right. You see my up and down are no longer available, right? So I could go right, but this time, let me show you this with remixing. Remixing allows you to basically add something to your prompt so it will generate something new on the way of my pen. So I'm gonna type in slash prefer and remix. This is the option I want. And all I have to do is press enter to enter this mode. Now with remix mode turned on, I actually have to go ahead and pan right or left. I'm gonna go more right here. And now I'm gonna get a new prompt box. This is what's gonna let me actually modify my original prompt. So medieval castle bright, white shot cinematic. But I'm gonna say me medieval castle and I'm gonna add some medieval soldiers on that side too and I'm gonna submit this, right? So this is gonna actually create something else, but on that side, not from scratch. And here's four more creations, and you could see it's put some people here, some soldiers here going up the stairs on side of the castle. As usual, I could select one of these to up res, and when I'm done with this remix mode, I just have to type in slash prefer and remix, and if I just press enter, it's gonna take me out of that mode, so you wanna make sure mode is turned off, and here is my up res with a couple of different pans, I could continue to pan as well. At some point, it's not gonna be able to display it correctly, and it will only be a web display, not inside of Discord, if you continue to pan and make a really large image. But for the most part, you should be able to, with a couple pans, get what you want, and you could always use the zoom out and custom zoom options. Again, different video about that if you wanna see how that works. And we just recently released our entire platform for learning AI, so we have an entire in-depth mid-journey course there as well as ton of download resources for prompting, chat GPT courses, prompt engineering courses, pretty much everything in the world of AI. We are adding new courses all the time to that platform. You could try it for free right now. Link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.